Good morning. Today for our prelude, we've been focusing all Lent on African American spirituals, and today we will have Jennifer Dunn playing uh, basically a world premiere for St. Gertrude's, um, a recently published uh, setting of Sometimes I Feel Like a Motherless Child by Chicago African American composer Florence Price, who was a major figure in the Chicago classical music scene in the 1930s. This is Sometimes I Feel Like a Motherless Child.
Good morning and welcome to St. Gertrude. We welcome everyone who is here present in the church and all members who are joining us via our live stream audience. All are welcome. This Mass is reproduced uh, and uh, under our license A728690. We ask everyone now to please rise and join us in singing our opening hymn, hymn number 665 in your Breaking Bread hymnal, Hosea, hymn number 665. gather in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. Amen. My sisters and brothers, in today's gospel we are reminded that through Jesus we are always given a second chance. Let us now be mindful of our failings and our need for God's loving mercy. Please kneel. God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Please stand and let us pray. Father, you have taught us to overcome our sins by prayer, fasting, and works of mercy. When we are discouraged by our weakness, give us confidence in your love. We ask this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God, forever 
endeavor. A reading from the book of Exodus. Moses was tending the flock of his father-in-law Jethro, the priest of Midian. Leading the flock across the desert, he came to Horeb, the mountain of God. There an angel of the Lord appeared to Moses in fire flaming out of a bush. As he looked on, he was surprised to see that the bush though on fire, was not consumed. So Moses decided, I must go over to look at this remarkable sight and see why the bush is not burned. When the Lord, when the Lord saw him coming over to look at it more closely, God called out to him from the bush, Moses, Moses. He answered, here I am. God said, come no nearer. Remove the sandals from your feet, for the place where you stand is holy ground. I am the God of your fathers, the God of Abraham, the God of Isaac, the God of Jacob. Moses hid his face, for he was afraid to look at God. But the Lord said, I have witnessed the affliction of my people in Egypt, and have heard their cry of complaint against their slave drivers. So I know well what they are suffering. Therefore I have come down to rescue them from the hands of the Egyptians and lead them out of that land into a good and spacious land, a land flowing with milk and honey. Moses said to God, But when I go to the Israelites and say to them, the God of your fathers has sent me to you, if they ask me what is his name, what am I to tell them? God replied, I am who am. Then he added, this is what you shall tell the Israelites. I am sent me to you. God spoke further to Moses. Thus shall you say to the Israelites, The Lord, the God of your fathers, the God of Abraham, the God of Isaac, the God of Jacob, has sent me to you. This is my name forever. Thus am I to be remembered through all generations. The word of the Lord. Our psalm response today is, if today you hear God's voice, harden not your hearts. Joyfully 
to the Lord. Let us proclaim the rock of our salvation. Let us come into God's presence with thanksgiving. Let us joyfully sing songs to reading from the first letter of St. Paul to the Corinthians. I do not want you to be unaware, brothers and sisters, that our ancestors were all under the cloud and all passed through the sea, and all of them were baptized into Moses in the cloud and in the sea. All ate the same spiritual food, and all drank the same spiritual drink, for they drank from a spiritual rock that followed them, and the rock was the Christ. Yet God was not pleased with most of them, for they were struck down in the desert. These things happened as examples for us so that we might not desire evil things as they did. Do not grumble as some of them did and suffer death by the destroyer. These things happen to them as an example, and they have been written down as a warning to us, upon whom the end of the ages has come. Therefore, whoever thinks he is standing secure should take care not to fall. The word of the Lord.
God, Lord Jesus Christ. Glory to you, Word of God, Lord Jesus Christ. Glory to you, Word of God, Lord Jesus Christ. And then says the Lord, the kingdom of heaven is at hand. Glory to you, Word of God, Lord Jesus Christ. Glory to you, Word of God, Lord Jesus Christ. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Some people told Jesus about the Galileans whose blood Pilate had mingled with the blood of their sacrifices. Jesus said to them in reply, Do you think that because these Galileans suffered in this way, They were greater sinners than all other Galileans? By no means. But I tell you, if you do not repent, you will all perish as they did. Or or those 18 people who were killed when the tower at Siloam fell on them. Do you think they were more guilty than everyone else who lived in Jerusalem? By no means. But I tell you, if you do not repent, you will perish as they did. And he told them this parable. There once was a person who had a fig tree planted in his orchard. And when he came in search of fruit on it but found none, he said to the gardener, For three years now I have come in search of fruit on this fig tree but have found none. So cut it down. Why should it exhaust the soil? He said to him in reply, Sir, leave it for this year also, and I shall cultivate the ground around it and fertilize it. It may bear fruit in the future. If not, you can cut it down. The Gospel of the Lord. Today we are celebrating the right of the first scrutiny with the men and women who we welcomed into the church at the Easter Vigil Mass. At this point in their formation, they undergo three of these scrutinies once each weekend for three weeks. So it helps us in understanding the scripture readings to know that Lent was designed for the catechumens, for people doing their preparation for entering the church. Lent was meant to be their final intense preparation, and for all the rest of us, it was meant to be a kind of refresher course. And for both of us, it is a retreat, a time to step away or step back and consider how things are going in our lives. In a few minutes, we'll call the catechumen and the candidates forward, offering intercessions for them, and then pray. This is the exorcism prayer, pretty much the same that we do at every baby's baptism, praying they'll be protected from the evil that is present in the world. In today's gospel, There are two distinct sections. The first, this exchange Jesus has with some people who were asking him about what was considered a scandalous event. Some Galileans, and remember, Jesus himself was a Galilean, had been in some kind of revolt against the Roman authorities. They had been captured and killed And as a final indignation, 
Pilate had mixed their blood with the blood of the animals sacrificed to the pagan gods. For a Jew, this was a gross insult. And then Jesus volunteers another example. Some workers erecting a tower in Siloam apparently were killed when the scaffolding was crushed as the tower crumbled. In both examples, Jesus asks a question so that he might answer it. Do you think because these Galileans suffered this way, they were the greater sinners than all the Galileans? Or do you think those people who died in Siloam were more guilty than everyone else in Jerusalem? And in both cases, he practically shouts back the answer, by no means, but if you do not repent, you will all perish as they did. Scrutinies for the catechumens or examination of conscience for those of us already Catholic is never about relativizing our sins, even if we would prefer that, as in, well, Compared to the serial killer, I haven't been bad at all. Or next to that adulterous bank robber who beats his children, I've been pretty good. This part of the gospel reminds us it is never about what someone else is doing or has done. It is about each of us by ourselves. Or as I always find it helpful, it's this image. When we get to the pearly gates and St. Peter is asking us why we did or didn't do something, I'm pretty sure we won't be allowed to say, uh, she made me do it. I don't think that cuts it when we're in heaven. In the second part of the gospel is the fig tree analogy. I think it's pretty hard to read this any other way than that God, the gardener, gives us another chance, always. So here we are again, practically in the middle of Lent, aware of our failings and the good fruit we have not produced. And God is patient, saying, try it again. Two things. First, I think we should always trust God's patience, but we would be fools to challenge it. And secondly, just as God is patient with us, we must be patient with others and with ourselves. No one is perfect until you're dead and in heaven. Don't worry about that part, but do take the second chance that is offered by God. I now invite our elect, Bella Mo, to please come forward. Is Bella here? Bella, are you here? <laughs> okay. I don't know where Bella is, but we have the rest <laughs> of the catechumens. I invite them to come forward. Our candidates for entrance into the church, Iverson Moore, Russ Geip, Radina Soroki, Victoria Bussey, and their sponsors to please come forward to receive the creed from the church. Just to explain, we give them today the text of the creed that we pray every Sunday, but you'll always notice they always leave because 
we give them the creed today to reflect upon it and to be certainly understand that is the faith they will profess with us beginning at Easter. My dear friends, listen carefully to the words of that faith by which you will be justified. The words are few, but the mysteries they contain are great. Receive the Nicene Creed with a sincere heart and be faithful to it. And I ask their sponsors, please, to present this to them. My dear candidates, Jesus Christ is a living water that quenches every thirst. As your journey toward full initiation continues, look to Christ to be the way that leads to freedom from sin. Be assured of our love, care, and prayerful support. We look forward to the day when you will join us at the table of the Eucharist. And now you are dismissed. Go in peace. Please stand. Let us profess our faith. I believe in one God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all things visible and invisible. I believe in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, born of the Father before all ages, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten, not made, consubstantial with the Father, through him all things were made. For us and for our salvation, he came down from heaven <clears throat> and by the Holy Spirit was incarnate of the Virgin Mary and became flesh. For our sake, he was crucified under Pontius Pilate. He suffered death and was buried and rose again on the third day in accordance with the scriptures. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead, and his kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, and with the Father and the Son is adored and glorified, who has spoken through the prophets. I believe in one holy Catholic and apostolic church, I confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sins, and I look forward to the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. God knows our need for healing and mercy and hears all our prayers. Let the word of God, which Bella ponders in her heart, help her gain greater understanding of what it means to be a follower of Jesus Christ. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That Bella may review her life before Christ and acknowledge her sins, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That while awaiting the grace of her baptism, Bella may long with all her heart for the living water that brings eternal life. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That we ourselves and the church throughout the world in preparation for the Easter feast may seek a change of heart, giving ourselves to prayer and persevere in our good works. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer that the world leaders respond to the call of Pope Francis to hear the cry of those suffering during times of war, choosing to replace aggression with dialogue, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That our candidates, Iverson Moore, Marlena Siraki, Russ Skype, and Victoria Bussey, review their lives before Christ 
and acknowledge their sin, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That we turn away from the paths of individualism and isolation, choosing instead the work of building relationships based in respect, care, and peace, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That people will see the earth as holy ground, tread lightly upon it and respect it as the source that gives life to people, animals, and plants, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That all those struggling with issues of mental health be provided loving support and the care they need, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those who have died and for the intentions of this Mass, Peggy Sue Rorden, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. God of goodness and grace, hear the prayers of all of us gathered here in faith through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Our song for the presentation of gifts is number 658, Turn to Me, number 658. Stand and pray, sisters and brothers, that our sacrifice may be acceptable to God, the Father Almighty. May the Lord may accept, accept the sacrifice at your hands, the praise and glory of his name, for our, our good and good of all his church. Lord, by the grace of this sacrifice, <laughs> may we who ask forgiveness be ready to forgive one another. We ask this in the name of Jesus the Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. His right is righteousness. All powerful and ever living God, we do well always and everywhere to give you thanks and praise. You never cease to call us to a new and more abundant life. God of love and mercy, you are always ready to forgive. We are sinners, and you invite us to trust in your mercy. Time and time again we broke your covenant, but you did not abandon us. 
Instead, through your Son, Jesus, our Lord, you bound yourself even more closely to the human family by a bond that can never be broken. Now is the time for your people to turn back to you and to be renewed in Christ your Son, a time of grace and reconciliation. You invite us to serve the family of humankind by opening our hearts to the fullness of your Holy Spirit. In wonder and gratitude, we join our voices with the choirs of heaven to proclaim the power of your love and to sing of our salvation in Christ. Holy, 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 Lord God of hosts, holy, 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 Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth of Father, from the beginning of time, you have always done what is good for us, so that we may be holy as you are holy. Look with kindness on your people gathered here before you. Send forth the power of your spirit, that these gifts may become for us the body and blood of your beloved Son, Jesus the Christ, in whom we have become your sons and your daughters. When we were lost and could not find the way to you, you loved us more than ever. Jesus, your Son, innocent and without sin, gave himself into our hands and was nailed to a cross. Yet before he stretched out his arms between heaven and earth in the everlasting sign of your covenant, he desired to celebrate the Paschal Feast in the company of his disciples. While they were at supper, he took bread and gave you thanks and praise. He broke the bread, gave it to his disciples, and said, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. At the end of the meal, knowing that he was to reconcile all things in himself by the blood of his cross, he took the cup filled with wine. Again he gave you thanks, handed the cup to his disciples, and said, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. This is the cup of my blood, the blood of the new and everlasting covenant, which will be poured out for you and for all for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim the death of Lord until you come again. Until you come again. We do this in memory of Jesus Christ, our Passover and our lasting peace. We celebrate his death and resurrection and look for the coming of that day when he will return to give us the fullness of joy. Therefore we offer you, God ever faithful and true, the sacrifice which restores us to your friendship. Father, 
Look with love on those you have called to share in the one sacrifice of Christ. By the power of your Holy Spirit, make them one body, healed of all division. Keep us all in communion of mind and heart, Francis our Pope and Blaise our Bishop. Help us to work together for the coming of your kingdom until at last we stand in your presence to share the life of the saints in the company of the Virgin Mary and the apostles and of our departed brothers and sisters whom we commend to your mercy. And then freed from every shadow of death, we shall take our place in the new creation and give you thanks with Christ, our risen Lord. Through him and with him and in him, O God, almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen, amen, amen. Let us pray with confidence to the Father in the words our Savior gave us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, from every evil, and grant us peace in our day. In your mercy, keep us free from sin and protect us from all anxiety as we wait in joyful hope for the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, you said to your friends, I leave you peace, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church. And grant us the peace and unity of your kingdom, where you live forever and ever. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Please offer each other a sign of peace. <laughs> I noticed a word. Lamb of God, you take, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us, Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us, Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. volunteer for a ministry of communion if someone's here please <clears throat> behold the lamb of god behold him who takes away the sins of the world blessed are those called to the supper of the lamb lord i am not worthy that you should enter under my roof but only say the word and my soul shall be healed
two, three. meditation hymn today is an arrangement of the spiritual O Holy Lord by Florence Price.
now invite the ushers to come forward to take up the second collection for the Almoners program. Each week as you leave church, you are welcome to take the $10 McDonald gift cards that we purchase with this collection to distribute to the homeless and others in need that you might encounter during the week. As you share the gift card, please share a moment of conversation <coughs> as well. After Mass, I will have the gift cards in the back of church. Information about the Almanus program can be found also in the newsletter. Also, I need to apologize. We're having supply chain issues. I have some cards, but we are two shipments behind. Don't we blame everything on supply chain now? So hopefully by next week, we will have an abundance of cards again. But please stop by, and I will distribute all that I have right now. Thank you. Pope Francis is inviting all Catholics to participate in the 2021 to 23 Synod by spirit-filled listening to God's active presence in each of our lives, sharing our reflections, journeying together as church in the areas of communion, mission, and participation. There are different formats you might use to be part of the Synod. There'll be an in-person gathering here in church next Sunday from noon till 1.30. There is a Zoom gathering with a number of parishes this Thursday or Friday or Saturday at 7 p.m. You can also respond directly on the Archdiocesan Synodality page on their website before April 1st. Details and the links to any of the websites are in the newsletter this week. Please stand and let us pray. <coughs> Lord, in sharing this sacrament, may we receive your forgiveness and be brought together in unity and peace. We ask this through Christ our Lord. And now let us pray for the people suffering in Ukraine for peace there and throughout the world by joining together in the Hail Mary. Hail Mary, Hail Mary full Mary of grace, grace. The, Lord the Lord is with, Lord is with thee. thee. Blessed, Blessed art thou among women. women. Blessed, Blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Jesus. Holy, Holy Mary, Mary, Mother of God, God. God. Pray, pray for, for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. death. Amen. Amen. <coughs> Mary, Queen of Peace, pray for pray us. The Lord be with you. Bow down your heads and pray for God's blessing. The Father of mercies has given us an example of unselfish love in the sufferings of his only Son. Through your service of God and neighbor, may you receive his countless blessings. Amen. Amen. You believe that by his dying, Christ destroyed death forever. May he give you everlasting life. Amen. Amen. He humbled himself for our sakes. May you follow his example and share in his resurrection. Amen. Amen. May Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Our Mass is ended. Let us go now to bring Christ's peace to the world. Thanks, Thanks be to God. Have a great week, everyone. A recessional hymn today is number 124, In These Days of Lenten Journey, number 124. One, two, three. In these days of blood and journey, we have seen and we have heard the call to sow justice in the lives of those we serve. Faith in our God be
Sim. 